Well, this all is coming amid a troubling trend, a rise in cases of domestic violence. There have been several tragic cases over the past few weeks. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaykhead is going in depth to show us the challenges victims face and how one survivor is taking action to help others. Experts say instances of domestic violence are now increasing at an alarming rate. One survivor now stepping up to help those in danger. They are horrific cases of deadly domestic violence around Metro Detroit in Westland on May 3rd. Prosecutors say William Grant stabbed his wife Sarah to death with scissors in a case of premeditated murder. Just days ago on July 10th, prosecutors say Jonathan Welch killed his girlfriend and another man in Harper Woods just two days after posting bond. You're working from home, you're isolated. The shocking case is hitting close to home for survivor Nicole Beverly, who made it out of an abusive relationship dating back to the early 90s. Today, she says, post-pandemic, more victims have fewer places to turn. There are not resources available. There are not enough shelter beds. There are not enough programs for victims to go to. Abusers are getting arrested and getting released within 8 to 12 hours. The National Coalition Against Domestic Violence says on average 20 people per minute are being physically abused in the U.S. And in a year, that equates to more than 10 million women and men. Even worse, one in four women and one in seven men have faced severe violence, including beating, burning, and strangling. They have actually heard the murder on a 911 call. After 25 years on the force, retired state police inspector Ellis Stafford saying victims often find themselves dependent on a repeat abuser. There are some people who grow to, to accept and tolerate that type of violence. Mental health expert Dr. Gerald Shiner also weighing in on the role of guns. Stats showing 72% of all murder suicides involve an intimate partner and 94% of victims of murder suicide are women. Just owning a firearm increases the risk of a family member dying by suicide fourfold and a family member dying in an assault eightfold. Call your doctor, call your pastor. Uh, but don't try to reconcile while, while there's a firearm there. For Nicole, a crusade to help others has led to a book providing resources and a film project about her own life. She's also helped drive passing of a new state law, aiding survivors in shielding personal info from abusers. Setting up P.O. boxes for victims so they're their addresses can be concealed. For those who are in danger, more resources are available. For more information, just go to our website, WXYZ.com. Simon Shaykhet, 7 Action News.